It's Kyle, and in today's video, we're gonna be covering a topic that I thought I covered fairly well in my review of the GoPro Hero 4 cameras, but based on the number of people that asked me this question, I am going to have to make a dedicated video comparing the GoPro Hero 4 Silver to the Hero 4 Black. In the past, when you were shopping for a GoPro camera, the more you spent, the better camera you got. However, that's not entirely true with the Hero 4 lineup. With the Hero 4s, there's a very different feature set offered with the two cameras. The Hero 4 Black is targeted at a professional audience and it shoots 4K at 30 FPS, which is something that someone who's into heavy duty production work is going to absolutely love. However, the Silver packs a lot more features which are very much more consumer friendly and really for the vast majority of people, the features that the Hero 4 has definitely outweigh the few which it lacks, which the Hero 4 Black has. So we'll just go through them. The Hero 4 Silver has that LCD screen, which makes it so much easier to frame shots and know what you're doing and even change settings because it is a touch LCD screen. So the Hero 4 Silver is an amazing camera in terms of ease of use, which is something that we couldn't really say for GoPros in the past. Then it's got better battery life than the Hero 4 Black by a substantial amount. You can even check out the charts that I've tested down below, or you can go onto the GoPro website and read their battery test times for these two cameras, and you will still find that the Hero 4 Silver has substantially better battery life than the Hero 4 Black, and that's just due to the fact that the Hero 4 Black has a more power-demanding processor, and it does shoot higher resolutions. So the Hero 4 Black can shoot 1080p at 120 frames per second, which the Hero 4 Silver cannot do, but if you watch test video, shot at 120 frames per second from the Hero 4 Black, what you're gonna find is it is fairly grainy. It, it's not up to par with the other GoPro footage we've seen. So don't expect the Hero 4 Black to shoot crystal clear, amazing 1080p uh, 120, and it's not gonna look like the same 1080 you get if you shoot 1080p 60 or 1080p 30. So there is a quality drop once you start shooting those higher frames with the Hero 4 Black, and the Hero 4 Silver doesn't have that problem when it's shooting at its max 1080p resolution, which is 60 FPS. The Hero 4 Silver at 60 FPS does produce very crystal clear and great 1080p video. So if you're gonna shoot slow motion with the Silver, all you do is shoot 1080p, 60, and then use the GoPro Studios uh, editor to slow it down using some of the new GoPro uh, features that are embedded within it. My default response to anyone who asks me whether they should get a Hero 4 Silver or a Hero 4 Black is to get the Hero 4 Silver. I feel that it's a better camera and it's way more user friendly. It will give the end user a better experience using it and it will more often than not make them want to use their GoPro more than it would if they had a Hero 4 Black. I personally find that when I go out shooting for the day, the first camera I reach for to set up is my Hero 4 Silver, and then if I have to, I'll get out the Hero 4 Black. I find it more user-friendly, it's easier to set up, the touch screen is just, it's so much easier to use than the Black, and it's got that benefit of additional battery life. So, I am a fan of the Hero 4 Silver, but there is a spot for the Hero 4 Black. It's a really high-end camera and it shoots amazing resolution. It's able to shoot 4K at 30, which for a creative professional is awesome. So there is a market for the black. However, for the vast majority of people that are going out there to shoot and just want a GoPro to capture their memories, I really do have to push them in the direction of the Hero 4 Silver. Guys, this was another GoPro tips and tricks videos from Kyle. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. If you've got anything else to say, leave it down below. How do your thoughts add up on the GoPro Hero 4 Silver versus Hero 4 Black? Leave those down below. And until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.